All right, let's actually play the game. <laughs> so the circle button is the CQC button. This is your basic combo. It's just punch, punch, kick. Oh, I thought you were spazzing out for a second. <laughs> if you don't press it fast enough, you reset the combo. Also, uh, this tranquilizer has a suppressor on it, and I'm going to take that off for the time being because no one's around to hear it. When you're standing on the street, you can still aim, so if you feel like sniping up here, you can. You can also do pull-ups by uh, pressing the L2 and R2 buttons while hanging. You can also aim while hanging on the tree. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know why you'd ever do that, but hey, here you go. You can watch Snake's animations. I'm Now I'm curious. Like, I wonder if he's cocking the gun with his teeth or if he's doing it with his chin. I don't know. But I'm also, I also want to do that to show off his really crazy, like, one-handed reload animation. <laughs> Almost as crazy as, like, Battlefield Hardline and those, like, super rare reloads. Oh, man. <laughs> anyway, uh, suppressors of this game are removable, unlike other Metal Gear Solid games up to this point, and they also wear out over time. Because this is the 60s, and we don't have permanent suppressor technology yet. There's also some birds in the grass there that I didn't bother getting because it's a bit hard to. Uh, you know, about the, the suppressors, I feel like that's... I'm not sure if even newer ones need to be replaced or not. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, here's a crocodile. You can put him to sleep, and then you can run up to him and, um... Knife him a bit with your knife. They won't wake up. Uh, why are you so mean to the wildlife in this game? Because I need food. <laughs> anyway, you want to be careful around crocodiles, because if you go near them, uh, they're going to hurt. Like so. <laughs> Just bat at you with your with their tails. Can they get like an instant KO on you? or They can KO, KO you instantly, but they can't do it here. There's a very specific place where they can do it. Oh, okay. Also, there's a bee's nest there. Um, I shot it down so I can grab some of the stuff, because I'm going to try my best to grab all the food items in the game. And there you were doing a 360 no-scope maneuver? <laughs> right. Uh, <laughs> if you are too close to the bee's nest when it uh, it falls down, the bees will come and sting you, because I guess they assume you are hostile. Which you kind of are. Yeah, I mean, you did shoot their nest down. Yeah. Anyway... I mean, I don't... I never figured bees as being stupid, but then again, I don't know much about bees, so... Right. Anyway, uh, that mud there sinks, or makes Snake sink a little bit as he walks through it, and that actually does get on his clothes, which does affect your camo rating. If you want to just quickly, like, change off the, uh, cat or get the mud off, you can just switch camos really quickly, and it'll be gone. Hmm. I always thought you had to just, like, wait around for a bit, or, like, go in water. Yeah, you can just wait around a little bit and it'll dry off. Anyway, I'm gonna go with tree bark because it seems like a good fit for that that dirt there. <laughs> how many um how many different camos are in the game? Do you know? Uh, I don't have an exact number, but there are quite a few. I'm like over forty? I don't think it goes up that high, but there's a good number. I couldn't tell if that was like snake rumbling or you. <laughs> For a second, I was like, "Oh man, you need to eat in the game." <laughs> I've spotted two enemies. <laughs> now you're gonna have to leave that in. <laughs> Probably KGB troops. <laughs> okay, so here's a, this is our introduction to enemy patrol or, or sentries. Just please tell me you can shoot the grenade on okay. the guy well, and have it explode. The Soviet no. Ah. Uh, there. Well, I mean, we only have a dinky little tranquilizer pistol right now. Yeah, I, I have a feeling like even. Well, maybe not. Don't engage them in battle either. I was gonna say maybe even a tranquilizer round might be able to, but the major is doubt it's got enough penetration. Yeah. To sneak through the jungle without being seen. What if you had like a regular pistol? Would it work? <sighs> no, it wouldn't. Dang. There is something you can shoot on them though. Certain guards, though, at least. 
and it will affect them. Option lets you pick your uniform. While the and uh, right now they're just going over camouflage. You can change the um, your uniforms, and you can also change your face paint. You can. There's a lot of options, and your camo index is uh, that percentage up in the upper right corner. Uh, it tells you how well you're blending blended in with the current environment. People complain that the game makes you change camouflage a lot, but you don't really need to. Like, as long as you have, like, maybe 70-80%, you're fine. Like, Tiger Stripe is a camouflage pattern I think you have by default, and it's a really good all-around camouflage. Right, right. Like, Tiger Stripe and uh, Splitter is a really good combination for pretty much anywhere. Seems like you'd only really... The only people who'd complain about it is anybody who's, like, really worried that they get get caught and want, like, close to 100% all the time. Right, right, but if you're playing like that, then you're probably playing a little too paranoid. <laughs> well, I mean, isn't MGS all about paranoia? Like, who are the real... Who are your real friends? <laughs> Saving the game, Snake? Anyway, I'm gonna take this uh, opportunity to save my game. Hey, Snake. I cut out the save, but uh, when you saved your game in Metal, Metal Gear Solid games, mm -hmm. your you mission operator nope. tends to talk to you about stuff. This time, our mission operator is a movie buff. ...and goes on a rampage in Tokyo. Nuclear test, huh? Then the Marshall Islands must be crawling with giant monsters right about now. It's just make-believe. Maybe that's why my pants have been so tight lately. <laughs> Snake, it's a movie. Wow. out of Los Alamos. I know. So then what happened? Godzilla is immune to all weapons, and humanity has no way to stop the monster. Dr. Sirizawa develops a new type of weapon, but meanwhile Godzilla is getting closer and closer to Tokyo, obliterating everything in its path. It was originally a Japanese movie, but they made I remember, a year, like, too. maybe I ten years ago, like, my friend was trying to tell me Godzilla was a story about, like, how a mother monster was trying to reclaim its eggs from, like, humans, but no one understood that, so they just kept trying to kill her. Uh, I think that's the plot for the American version. Oh, okay, that would explain it then. Yeah, because, like, um, if I remember correctly, because I've watched some Godzilla movies, um, as well as, like, some extra monsters, but whatever. Um, if I remember correctly, the Godzilla movie in the States, which was in, like, 2000 or whatever it was, um, that one was, uh, like, it was, it was literally about Godzilla and there were eggs around the city at the end, and that was, like, a major plot point. Ah, okay, I gotcha. Yeah. I think it had, like, uh, I think it's Matthew Bod Broderick, I think it was. Hmm. I think, it, I think it's Matthew Broderick. Maybe. And all I know is that, or all I remember was that there was a part in the movie where they get, like, a... A giant pile of fish, and he looks at it, and he's like, "That's a lot of fish." <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Like, it's, <laughs> I kind of, you kind of expect like more to be said, and that's <laughs> unfortunately, you'd be wrong. <laughs> All right. So over here in this little uh, corner of the map, there's a sniper rifle, and if you and a snake, if you tranquilize an animal, and it's small enough, you can put it into a cage, and it'll still be alive. So it will never rot because I forgot to mention food rots in this game. <laughs> Little uh, even even rations. Uh, well, food food like that is has tons of preservatives, so those don't rot. <laughs> right, right, right. Just a quick camo change for me, so I can stay hidden. And I really want to show off something with this guy, so we're gonna wait a little bit. Uh. If on the main mm, screen you click an R3, you'll change the camera from this really nice third-person view to the original uh, camera, which is not really as nice because you can't really move it all that much. Freeze. Right. So you go up behind a guy and you point your gun at him. You'll tell him to. You'll uh, hold him up. No wait. Point your gun at his head, and he'll do a little jig. And he'll give you stuff. Dance. Uh. Dance, uh, for you are at my mercy. This guy has... Okay, do you see that blinking red light on the guy? Yeah. That means he has the radio. Uh. So, uh, every map's guards, like, there's maybe one or two of them ha that have radios. So if the radio men are disabled somehow, then, and you get caught, they can't call for alerts. Right, right. 
And uh, what he just dropped was Life Medicine, and um, in previous Metal Gear Solid games, your healing items were rations. In this game, rations are food and they re recover your stamina, so instead of recovering life, uh, or to have an item that recovers life, they gave you Life Medicine. Huh. They work the same as rations in uh, Metal Gear Solid 2 and 1. You just put them in your uh, your uh, item slot, and uh, if you have them equipped and you die, you will not die. Heal up. Yeah. Right, right. Anyway, I'm just showing off what happens if you feed a crocodile a <laughs> grenade. <laughs> instantly kill them. <sighs> the ghost of crocodiles passed. Yeah. All right, that guy over there is still asleep, so let's just go around, uh, grab some bug juice. Bug juice is basically just insect repellent. Do you think, like, they they could have had a brand, like, calorie made, but they didn't bother? Maybe. Maybe, like, off bug juice? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if they tried but couldn't get anything good. <laughs> uh, calorie made is a food item that you have at the start. Uh, it's really good for you. Like it will fully recover your stamina. Is that like um? Do you get a lot of them in the game, or is it kind of like really limited? Uh, there's a good amount actually. Like you just kind of know where to look. <laughs> right, right. Anyway, so you don't have to worry about like ever running out or you know not using a super good item. Right, but food is plentiful anyway, and like even if Snake doesn't like certain types of food, you can uh, feed him enough, and he will learn to like it. <laughs> anyway, seems like a really mean thing to do. Maybe. Anyway, I was uh, crawling around to make sure that guy didn't see me because there's another thing I want to show off, and uh, there's a couple guards here, and I only want there to be one <laughs> to reduce the risk of getting caught. Uh, you can drag guards around. You wanna if you knock them out, you wanna hide them, and uh, if you haven't held them up, you can drop them, and they will drop some of their stuff. But you can only get like one or two things from this way, as opposed to holding them up and making them dance, where you get like four things. <laughs> Solid snake, male gigolo. Uh, excuse me, this is naked snake. Oh, sorry, sorry. Naked snake, male gigolo. Okay, so when you're in first person view, you can use L2 and R2 to um, move slightly. Like, tilt to the left, tilt to the right, and if you press them both at the same time, you'll r push yourself up a little bit. Right, right. It's a little handy if you like need a little bit of extra height to get a shot in. Right. I'm I'm always amazed that like there's there's so many like different little control things that they don't even do in recent games. Yeah. Okay. What I'm doing here is uh, I'm CQC grab this guy, and when you've grabbed hit a guy. You can hold that, click down L3 to interrogate and get different information. You can also press circle and then the Three. stick to shove a guy. If you just like mash down on circle, you'll slit his throat. You can also drag guys around. Uh, when the guy is down like this and you, you can hold him up by pointing your gun out. But since you can't see that I'm pointing a gun at him, I'm gonna have to shoot near him to make him dance. <laughs> this is obscene. Yep. We've, we've taken this to uh, to an extreme <laughs> I wasn't ready for. Give me your stuff. <laughs> I go that butt. I go it. So can you get like more items if if you make them waggle by shooting near them or? No, like. Shooting near him is just telling him, hey, I'm gonna shoot you if you don't give me your stuff. Anyway, this guy's a radio man, so I'm gonna disable his radio just cuz. <laughs> <laughs> now, now he's doing it because he likes it. I've conditioned him well. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can CQC grab guys to uh, use them as human shields, kind of like in Saints Row. Except instead of throwing them at dudes, you just <laughs> shove them down. I was gonna say, like, where's the part where he grabs them by the hip and tosses them? No. <laughs> There's a couple more CQC things you can do, but we'll get to those in due time. Please tell me there are wrestling moves in this game. Uh... <laughs> I'm thinking that as a yes. 
Oh, hey. No, uh, Snake's really happy. That's a shitty eating grin if I've ever seen one. <laughs> I know how I'm going to ruin this guy's day. Okay, so there's a couple things of interest here that we can uh, see. There's some fruit hanging from the trees, so if we uh, shoot down some fruit... Any second now. The pinging noise will get the guard's attention. And there's also a little frog up there. It'll go ribbit ribbit, and it's a little bit of product placement. If that also gets guard's attention. So now we call the hornet's nest down while he's distracted. And he runs across the bridge in fear. Is it hornets? Is it hornets or bees? I honestly don't know. Probably hornets. Anyway, uh, there were two guys on the bridge, but now they're fleeing in fear of the bees. Hornets. Looks, wasps. looks like they caught another guy. Actually, no, that guy just didn't care. He just kept, <laughs> he just went about his business. That guy's stoic as hell. Uh, there's a gun down here, so you want to go grab that. It's a prototype M16. Oh, sweet. In Russian territory for some reason. Under a bridge. <laughs> anyway, uh, that frog is called a keratin. Um, it's a Japanese toy. There's also a little duck companion to it. Disgusting. They both show up in Metal Gear Solid 3. Though in Metal Gear Solid 3D, it they aren't there anymore. <laughs> They've been replaced with Yoshi. Ah. They do the same thing, but Yoshi is all in uh the Yoshi positions are in different places from the keratins. There are there's one in every map. So I've already missed two on this run. And I don't plan on getting all of them anyway because it's really annoying. <laughs> and there's 64 in total. Do they make the same noise, or is it like a Yoshi appropriate sound? It makes the old like squeaky noise Yoshi used to make when you shoot Yoshi. Uh, when do you ever shoot Yoshi again? No, no, I mean, like, in Metal Gear Solid 3D, when you shoot the Yoshi dolls, they make the squeaky note that Yoshi used to make instead of going Yoshi Yoshi. Come in, HQ. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what that squeaky sound is, but I don't know. So, I got that guard's attention by accident, so I thought about shooting him and putting him to sleep, but then more guards would become if I took too long, so I just said fuck it. <laughs> Does it count, still count for your alert status, or? As, if it doesn't say alert, I haven't been caught. Oh, wow. If you are in, like, soft c caution, I guess, like, before the reinforcements come, and you go into a loading zone, you will cancel the, I've the, the uh, alert, where so caution, whatever. Held. This place is a dump. Apparently, this is where Sokolov's been doing his uh, research. I, like how, I mean, it's a dump, sure. It's backwater Russia. Tight. What do you expect? Yeah, but like, he's making a super weapon, so you'd expect some fancy facility or something. Eh. I mean, I think the main issue is just like, no matter what or where this takes place, they have armed sentries, which I think really gives it away. Yeah, kind of. It's, like, <laughs> it's like, nah, this isn't a secret base. What are you talking about? We just all have AK-47. <laughs> Your mission so, Sokolov's over in the corner of the map, not be exposed to any but there's a lot of goodies to be had here, so we're gonna spend a little bit of time just exploring. Right. Oh, and one more thing, Snake. <laughs> you can tell which room Sokolov's in no, it's because it's the only one that actually has a door and a roof. I want you to tell him something from me. I feel like and that a lot of areas in solo. just about any MGS exactly. game I've played have a lot of like little small cool things about them. Yeah. It's one of the things I really love about Metal Gear. <laughs> Is there a beach level in this game? No. Aww. I was gonna ask if you can get in like swimming trunks. <laughs> Saving the game, Snake. So I'm gonna take another opportunity to save my game Snake, do you know for another codec conversation. Uh, Never heard of it. I might just Snake put these in bonus videos from now on. Deep in the Amazon, but if Black you Black save repeatedly, you'll get more conversations. One after the other by this fish man thing. And there was uh, a creature in the back of the was going for a swim. Not a bad movie. Sneaks up on I'll take your word for it. Oh, I thought my heart was going to stop. I mean, I think they had like um, a sequel too. I, I don't remember this. I don't remember the sequel being as good. From outer space, would it? How rude! Why do you say that? 
because no one on earth could be as charming as you. <sighs> Snake Bond, makes his move. Just get to the point, Snake. Be careful. So, how good of a James Bond is Snake so far? Just imagining you swimming in those jungles. Uh, he hasn't had enough sex yet. I think is really the main <laughs> main issue. Fishmen aren't the only things that'll attack you in the water. Really be careful out there. Okay. And don't be. I would say that uh, Snake's probably more sensitive than James Bond. Are you calling me a fish man? It's probably uh, it's probably a yeah. good uh, good comparison. I mean, I don't think James Bond would ever be like, uh, yo, Patrice, I haven't seen you in five years, seven months, and 62 hours. Okay. What's that all about? So, there's a reason I caught the snake in the uh, cage, and that's because you can you throw them as projectiles. <laughs> so, I'm going to have that guy wrestle with the snake for a little bit to distract him, while I figure out where the guys in the building are so I can uh, make my move. And uh, over there, you can see that he's killed the snake. And we can't have that, so... Yeah, such an asshole. Good night. You should kill him, too. Uh, I could, but... I'm gonna let him live. For now. <laughs> there Can are... you become a snake whisperer in this game? No. Uh, snake charmer? Do you get, like, uh, this solid snake, get an Indian outfit <laughs> for camouflage and... Oh, that'd be, loot? that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> Okay, so that's all the guards in the building, but there's another guard over to the left who is, uh... Who has f happened upon the guy who just killed the snake, so... I'm gonna try to see if I can get them both, but these boxes are in the way and I can't. And I don't want to get risk getting caught, so... I'm just gonna let him stay awake for now. You know, thinking about that Snake Charmer stuff, I wonder if the flute would play, like, the opening bars to a very popular song. Oh, man, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back over here is the M37 shotgun. It's a shotgun. Not much else to be said. Do you, uh, do any of the shotguns get, like, special rounds? Uh, this is actually the only shotgun in the game. Oh, really? Yeah. This was before Metal Gear games got really big on gun porn. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, uh, I'm trying to figure out a good way to uh, knock the guy out. But for now, I'll just settle for running up here, grabbing a suppressor for our experimental M16. And this is a good shot. Sort of. <laughs> I got him. Don't worry. Well, I mean, you just didn't mention which shot it was. <laughs> yeah. So, um, you can act, go, crawl around underneath the building, too. Not there, but uh, over here there's a little opening where you can go crawl underneath. Right, right. And there's a couple animals down here. There's a snake over there, a little rat to the left. Can, can animals, like, fight each other? I don't think so. Ah, uh, so you can't you can't like orchestrate a fight between the rat and the snake? Nope. Dang. You can't kill the rat though. And that suspicious glowing square is where Sokolov is being held. So uh let's poke him with our knife. What was that noise? Was that Sokolov? What was that noise? <laughs> Sokolov's the guy who's scared, and uh, there's a guard over there who hears me just knocking on the door. <laughs> and only ever says the same thing. Yeah, but eventually he runs around and finds a sleeping guard. Oh. <laughs> anyway, there's some life medicine over here. And... That's about it for uh, Rasvit. I mean... A nice little area. But, uh... There's a faster way to get through it. So let's let's go over that really quickly. <laughs> Just so we have a little bit more for the next cutscene. Uh, fair disclosure, I am terrible at aiming projectiles in this game. <laughs> What's that sound? I won't judge. I really wanted to have him fight the snake again, but oh well. <laughs> so the fastest way to get to, into Sokolov's room is just go around this way. Seems like you could probably just like run this way without ever distracting a guy with a snake either. You probably could, honestly. I just like throwing a snake at him. 
There's just one guard <laughs> over here, so dispatch him. I think actually that guard isn't there in Metal Gear Solid 3D because there's like one guard missing from every area, but I don't know why. Maybe they just want to be harder. Mm, maybe. While we're here, um, you think Sokolov's hungry? Uh, maybe. Do you think he liked it? No. Aww. I'm gonna assume like I'm gonna assume he doesn't like crocodile. I went through all the trouble of uh, just roasting it from the inside. He <laughs> doesn't even like it. I like to think that Naked Snake is like a really big prankster. He's just like, yeah, I'm gonna throw food at the guy. Maybe. And like really, and it's like just bad food, <laughs> all rotten and stuff. Uh, there's another. There's a bird up here. I'm not sure if it's that the bird for, from earlier that was giving me trouble. That was uh just in the grass, but oh well. <laughs> anyway, we can we can imagine. Remember how we said the Soklaw's room was the only one with a roof? Right. If you just drop down there and you're not caught, you've ended the uh, area. You. you oh, win. it just automatically transports you. Yeah. Like, you win. Wow. Just cutscene. Yep. <laughs>